Good afternoon, traders. This is Taylor from the TradingAnalyst.com. Thanks for stopping by. We're going to run through a bunch of charts here. But first, if you're not already a member, go ahead and visit the homepage and you can start your 100% free seven day trial today. All you need to do is enter in your name and your email address, and you're going to get instant access. No payment information is required at all. It's absolutely free with no obligation. And once you do that, you're going to be able to take advantage of all of the member only features like the live analysis via HD video and audio feed throughout the day in our live professional open and honest chat room. You also have the opportunity to profit while you learn because we're giving you profitable trade alerts while also teaching you the ins and outs of technical analysis. The learning never stops. We do daily webinars to help you prepare for the market day. We also do daily member videos and precise watch list and trade ideas. And those are part of the profit while you learn strategy that we have at the trading analyst to prepare you for the market day ahead. It's a great opportunity and I suggest that you take advantage of it. All right, so let's get into these charts here. I'm gonna start off with the S&P 500. A couple of things that I wanna go over, okay? Um, we have been breaking a couple of uh, levels here. Uh, we are in a downtrend since uh, the uh, late April right here, and you can draw that downtrend line right here. We have resistance above us at about 206.50, and that's from the lows of these uh, two candles here and the close of this candle. And as you can see, we broke it here, we came up, we retested, and then we got rejected. So 206.50, that's going to be the major resistance that we have ahead of us. And the major support that we have below us is about 203.75, okay? So from the low of this candle right there and the lows of, look at how many candles this level hit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right here, okay? So this is gonna be kind of the make or break level for me. Um, if we close, if the S&P 500 closes below 203, 75 then we're going to be heading lower on the S&P 500 if we hold above 204 we're going to be chopping around here most likely for a little bit okay so keep an eye on that 203 77 level another thing that I want to mention here is on the lower time frames we also have a potential uh, falling wedge here okay so uh, and keep in mind, because this is going to be a pattern, sorry, let me get it so it's, uh, okay, so right around here. So keep in mind, uh, and a falling wedge, if you don't know what a falling wedge is, it's a potential, keyword potential, uh, potential bullish pattern. So what we can see here is a drop down here to below here, and then up here, and then down to here, and then we would break outside of the top of the downtrend line uh, and shoot up from there. There was a falling wedge pattern over here, as you can see, and I'm just gonna draw that out right there. So that was a falling wedge right here, and we broke out of that. So this is a little smaller falling wedge, and we broke out of that, and that was a nice bullish pattern. We took an eye on that, uh, mentioned it uh, to our members, and our members were able to profit nicely off of that. So you're getting a nice little heads up look on this potential, keyword potential falling wedge right here. And it might take uh, several days to play out, uh, but what you're gonna wanna look for is, and this is the two hour chart for the S&P 500. What you're gonna wanna look for is some positive divergences on the RSI or the MACD or both. Again, you gotta wait for confirmation on this pattern because if the, if the pattern does not confirm, then this is just a downtrend, okay? And the S&P is gonna be heading higher. So you wanna wait for confirmation. Um, 
and uh, you really got to know how to play these patterns. All right, so I'm going to move on to Apple. Apple, and I'm going to switch to the daily time frame here for Apple. Apple broke a key, key support here at 92.55. Uh, As you can see, it was the lows over here in February. And right here, we bounced from it here, 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 here. And then we finally broke through it in convincing fashion. Look at this volume pop on that day as well almost as much as the volume that we had on that earnings gap down okay a lot of volume came out of the stock uh, on Thursday's trading session and then we came up here on Friday's trading session and retested almost retested uh, those uh, that previous support which is now resistance keep that in mind it's now resistance support turns into resistance so 92.55 is now resistance and I'm going to switch it to the weekly time frame because that's the way you're going to get the best look at uh, low targets from here. I just want to remind you, we have been bearish on Apple ever since we got rejected at this uh, downtrend line right here. Okay, so this is no surprise to us. We've been mentioning it on the videos. If we lose this 92.55, which we mentioned several times that eventually this was going to break. And it did. We got exactly what we were looking for. And that's the short signal. Looking at targets below, I'm seeing a little bit of support at around 85. 85 is going to be a little bit of support. It's also right where the lower Bollinger Band on the weekly time frame is. A little bit better support is lower at about 82. So about 82 to 85, right in this range, is where I would personally be covering uh, some shorts, taking some profits uh, on that level down there. Moving forward, we can get a bounce from here, and then a retest of that 92.50, and then a rejection, and maybe potentially break these lows uh, down here. So don't want to get ahead of ourselves, just pointing out these levels. All right, so I'm going to move on to the next chart here and that is Netflix <clears throat> again you're noticing a common theme we have some key supports being broken on a lot of stocks uh, we have this support at about 88.35 88.35 you know this is a key level here we've been mentioning it over the course of our videos we've done in the public we mentioned uh, as we got a short signal right here on this break of support Right here, we mentioned that 88.33 was our target. We got that hit, and we got a bounce, which we mentioned was likely to happen. Now, we're looking at this support break. We broke below the support on Thursday's trading action. Similar to uh, uh, Apple's action, it came up, retested that support, which is now resistance, got rejected. It's had its chance to break above that looks like it's heading lower and the next support below is about 82 81.75 to be more exact from the low of this candle and the open of this candle as you can see from this candle right here it opened below it but then it closed above it so we've got the low right here and the low right here so right around uh, 81.72 and as you can see the Bollinger Band right here this gray line is also right there as well so we could potentially get um, a little bit of a bounce from there and then a retest up higher and then a rejection again don't want to give ahead of myself just uh, pointing out those levels uh, next I want to cover Twitter Twitter uh, just want to point out the massive downtrend line uh, downtrend that Twitter is in so it's no surprise you should not be surprised when Twitter heads lower you should be surprised when Twitter heads higher because in downtrends stocks head lower and that is until that trend changes so far we haven't seen a trend change so you have to trade with the trend so looking moving forward with this Twitter trade uh, we pointed out we should, we would likely get a bounce from this uh, 1389 1390 level right here from the previous low over here we got that and we hit our target up here just below 15 
but now it's looking like it wants to break below this uh, support. Wait for that signal, um, but as you can see, it, the lows right here, the lows of several candles here, and it's likely to be trading uh, kind of in a little uh, congested range right here before it decides to either break over this downtrend line or break below the support, but those are the levels that you need to be aware of on Twitter. Next, I'm going to cover GoPro. GoPro, we broke a key support on GoPro. I believe this is all-time lows uh, on GoPro. Let me just confirm. Okay, I'm having an issue. I'm not able to uh, zoom out on that chart, but uh, I believe it is all-time lows uh, for GoPro. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, we did break below, regardless of whether it's all-time lows, we did break below this support right here, which was the previous low at about $9, and we closed below that level with Thursday's uh, candle right here, and then we had Friday's candle, which tried to break over that and ended up closing back below this $9 level. So $9 is resistance. Looks like GoPro is heading lower. I just want to point out on the lower time frame, this is the hourly chart. That's the downtrend line. You can see it a lot clearer on the hourly time frame as opposed to the daily chart right here from the highs uh, at about uh, April 28th is where you can draw that downtrend line right there. Next thing I want to cover is Boeing. And we're going to get back to the daily time frame here. Boeing, we are in a downtrend here. We came back up, retested this resistance, and now we got rejected twice. Got rejected at this downtrend line. And zooming in, we are breaking this uptrend line right here with Friday's close right here. We also closed below that support as well at about 133. So 133 is the resistance. I believe that we're heading lower on uh, Boeing. And we also have a key support, not a key key support, but uh, a level here that you want to see hold if you're bullish on uh, Boeing. A break below that, we're probably going to come down here and tag that 130 level. We're breaking that uptrend line, likely headed lower on Boeing. Next, I want to cover Chipotle. Chipotle, we broke over this downtrend line right here and above this key resistance. As you can see, look at this support. This was key, key support, key support right here. We broke below it right here. We came back up, retested it, and got rejected. I did think that Chipotle was coming down from here, but we changed our opinion once the trend changed on Chipotle. We broke back above this key resistance, above that 442 resistance, and above this downtrend line right here, and we are currently making higher highs. Not the prettiest candle formation, but right now we have uh, support at about 456, and we've got resistance up here from the highs of these candles at about 469. All right, guys, thank you for stopping by the tradinganalyst.com. Again, if you're not already a member, you need to sign up right now to start your 100% free seven-day trial. All you need to do is enter in your name and your email address. That's it, and you're going to get instant access immediately. No payment information is required. We have daily webinars to help you learn. We've got profitable trade alerts to help you make money in the market while you're learning. We have a great chat room full of experienced traders as well as traders from all levels. It's a great group. It's a positive learning experience. All questions are answered in real time on the HD and audio feed. It's a great opportunity, and we'll see you over there.